Welcome to the Mosquito Steve Radio Show on Talk Radio 1190. It's more than just mosquito talk. Mosquito Steve will talk about natural products, organics, good business practices, and more. And now, here's your host, Mosquito Steve. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the Mosquito Steve Show. I have some um, incredible guests with us here today who are, right now, they're just listening in, but they're, you're welcome to chime in anytime you want as we talk. So, uh, so I want to introduce my desk, get my desks, my desk, my desk is, uh, here's, here's Courtney. Courtney is uh, uh, the owner of Coco and Dash, and then she's, she's got a lot to say today. We're, it's, it's the Coco and Dash show today. I'm Hi, just, Steve. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Here, you got to talk right oh. into the microphone. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Okay, so along with us, we have two very important dudes. There's Spencer Percival Milburn the third. You want to say hi? Speak into the microphone. Really? <laughs> Speak into the microphone. Right here, pull it down by you. Here, pull it down. Yeah, get right in front of it. There you can relax. <laughs> okay. There you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then Holden Octavius Milburn the <laughs> fourth. Here, go say hi. Just say hi. That's all you gotta do. Lean in there, buddy. All right. He's got a donut in his mouth too. So uh that was pretty good for having a donut in your mouth. You sounded very professional. So uh, all right, well let's get to some spaghetti sp- spaghetti news. <laughs> good gosh, what's really? going on today? Am hi, I Will? making you nervous? Hi, Steve. <laughs> Maybe we should just take calls the whole hour. Maybe that's what we should do because I, I don't know. That's it. You're making me nervous. Making me nervous. I'm nor- nervous because of Courtney. So, uh, all right. So, here's the deal. Let's talk about some mosquito news this week. So far this week, we have 127 reported cases of the Zika virus in Texas. Okay. So, Dallas has 30. Harris County has 33. And Tarrant County has 14. Here's the thing to remember about Zika. I say this every week, but... Some people, well, somebody will turn around and ask me about it. So Zika virus, um, we don't have any cases in Texas that came from mosquitoes. Every single case came from either traveling overseas or sexual contact with somebody. So, uh, yeah, I can say it in front of the boys because that's what they say on the news. No, that's fine. Okay, she's shaking her head over here. It's not going to explain how... You pass it on. I'm just saying. Okay. It's, it's, no, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a little too young to go into that. And I'm probably not the guy that you want telling you about it because, oh, never mind. We just won't even yeah. go there Next. either. So if you've traveled to Latin America, the Caribbean, or the uh, Pacific Islands, then you probably uh, need to get checked, especially if you're not feeling well. Or if you have a friend that's been over there it's probably a good idea to just you know you just want to be careful about it is all so and now they know it takes six months to get out of the system they used to think it was a week then two weeks now it's six months guys carry it in their semen for six months good gracious yes so so i hate to spoil the fun if there any of you guys have been traveling a lot so okay uh but 80 percent of the people just like with west nile virus 80 percent of the people will show no symptoms whatsoever the ones that do get it um out of those then there's uh the ones that do get it it's a mild flu unless you're pregnant if you're pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant that's when you want to be really concerned about zika virus zika virus though is only it's it's easy to contain it doesn't the mosquitoes don't travel far it doesn't travel through birds so like west nile virus west nile virus on the other hand even though 80 percent of the people that contract it don't show symptoms um a lot that do show symptoms get it get very very sick so um, a lot of people are sick for months at a time. Sometimes they're having to be hospitalized. So in Texas, um, last year, we had 275 cases all year in Texas of West Nile virus. This year, so far, we have, just in Dallas County, we have 23 cases. 14 of those are neuroinvasive, which means they affect the nerves and they are very serious and these are people that generally have to be hospitalized so this is not just a passing thing now here's the thing with west nile you guys could walk out the door today and get bit by a mosquito and have what get west nile virus it's that simple and so that's not the same with zika zika is not passed on by mosquitoes here yet but west nile virus is so and and the other part of that is west nile virus is typically passed on through the culex mosquito 
which um, and birds and horses and and other animals, and so um, so it spreads. So it's a lot harder to contain. So that's why um, what could happen is is a bird could get uh, bit by a couple of mosquitoes and then go bite other people, and so all of a sudden now you got three people that you know have West Nile. I mean, it just spreads. So See, West Nile can be I'm really dangerous. Of birds. <laughs> that's why no no it's, a, it's another it's, reason let's just make... kill all the birds and then we don't have to exactly. worry about it. there we go okay yes uh, courtney's a, a naturalist you can tell so um okay so harris county uh which is houston only has four this is weird because houston is a hotbed for mosquitoes so the fact that they've only got four and here in dallas county we've got 23 tarrant county only has nine cases so uh but here's the thing just i want you to be more careful you guys about west Nile virus you need to worry more about that than you do zika at this moment so Can um I ask a question yeah that's why you're here right so this is kind of a stupid question i think but that's even better yeah do do how do you know or can you tell a difference between the mosquitoes that are carrying oh, yeah. something? And I mean, yes, how yeah. Do you know? Okay, so in fact, I was telling yes. So you can see them by the colorings and the markings, by the um, the size of them. Um, uh, there's like the the Asian tiger mosquito or the yellow fever mosquito, which are called the those are eighties a e d e s eighties species of mosquitoes. They're actually gorgeous. They're beautiful mosquitoes. They're black and white. They're, they've got these long antenna and these legs that stick out, and they're just they're incredible. They're really, really incredible animals. So, uh, so the 80s albopictus and 80s aegypti are the two that spread Zika. And so, uh, so if you see one that's got uh, black and white markings on it, you will definitely recognize it. It doesn't look anything like a Culex, which is generally an uglier, plain mosquito. It's just got a long body and it's brown, and they're a lot uglier. Mm-hmm. Um, like the floodwater so mosquitoes the is a Culex. Well, the Culex carries West Nile virus, so you don't want that one either. That's uh, mm-hmm. those are the main two species so we all have here. And, must die. Yeah, they, no, they don't. Well. And we'll get into why okay. you can't kill all the mosquitoes. That's real important. Spencer Octavius, you had a question? Or oh. Percival, I'm sorry. Um, yes. Um, how you rare, a little bit closer to the mic, man. How rare is this? How rare is it? The mosquito? Yeah. Well, or no. the disease? The disease. Well, the disease in, is actually not rare at all. So um, I'm going to give you a little history about the West Nile virus in America here in just a minute because... Um, Because a lot of people ask about that and ask why it's here and what brought it and all that kind of stuff. So I want to tell you about it. Plus, they're talking about, um, in Dallas, they're talking about spraying out airplanes, uh, pesticides. So yeah, you know, I'm not the question keen is, on that. yeah, well, see, that's the thing is, is that they're trying to make it make it sound like, look, it's it's safer if we spray pesticides than it is for you to get the disease. Well, in some cases, that's true, but the the thing is, is it's spraying out airplanes doesn't actually work very well, anyways. So, um, uh, in fact, so do you know where you guys know? This is a good quiz question. Do you know where the Zika virus right now is a big problem? Have you all heard any of the news? Yes, Miami. Yes, look at Way you. Way to go, Spence. Yes, so Miami has about 35 cases of the Zika virus. Um, and so, uh, it, but it's all contained in like a two to two and a half mile area and then another one mile square area. So it's a lot easier to contain because the 80 species, even though it's a beautiful little mosquito, it doesn't travel very far. Culex mosquitoes will fly for a couple of miles to get a blood meal so uh, do you know what a blood meal is do you know why mosquitoes bite you food because we're so sweet yeah <laughs> y'all are after all those donuts so no the uh okay so the female mosquito has to have in order for her eggs to reproduce and for her eggs to produce hatchlings that are actually live and viable in order for that to happen, the female mosquito has to have a blood meal. Now, normally a mosquito would just drink um, pollen or, or sip sugar water. I mean, they like what hummingbirds like. But but when the mosquito needs to have viable eggs, the female mosquito will have to have a blood meal. 
So that's when, so the mosquitoes that bite you are only female. No male mosquito will ever bite you because they don't even have the thing that sticks in you and sucks the blood, the proboscis, proboscis, whatever. Wow. I yes. never knew that. Yeah, I know. See, that's the problem. This is why my social life is so bad because, well, I mean, well, I can sit here and talk about mosquitoes for a long, long time. It's like, okay, you lost me about 10 minutes ago. Well, so we're five minutes you know. into, and we're 15 minutes into the show, and uh, y'all are already bored with the topic. No, Go talk no, about I think else. it's I'm fascinating. Not, I'm a little scared, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm here to actually take away your fears because there are ways to protect yourself, and uh, and so we'll talk about those. Okay, so, uh, and by the way, um, at, in the second half of the show, we're going to take calls. So if you have a, qua- a call for, like, if it's if Spencer Holden's girlfriends are out there listening and you want to talk to or ask a question, just call in. Or if you got a question for Courtney, our uh, numbers are 214 or 817 787 1190. 214 or, eight, or, or 817. 817- 787-1190. It's a lot of words. Did y'all understand any of that? Okay. Uh, no. And so uh, so call in at the second half of the show here in about 15 minutes. Um, we're going to take a break here. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about mosquitoes because I want to talk about this aerial spraying and uh, what the city is talking about doing. And, uh, and then we'll talk more to Courtney and Spencer and Holden. All right. Come on back. Welcome back to the Mosquito Steve Radio Show. Okay, welcome back, you guys. Uh, once again, I'm here with Courtney and Spencer and Holden. So, um, uh, you guys, we're going to take calls here in about 15 minutes at the halfway point. And so, uh, if you want to call us, 214 or 817 787 1190. Um, I want to find out a lot more about Courtney and a lot more about Spencer and a lot more about Holden. So, we're going to be asking them some questions here. <laughs> <laughs> you should see Holden. He really doesn't want to talk on the air, but you know it's funny. We'll, once we get started, he probably can't stop. That's probably the way it's going to be. So, all right. So here's the thing. Here's a little bit of history about West Nile virus, and this is why I want to talk about how important it is. The 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 city wants to spray out of airplanes, and they're saying, "Well, gosh, look at the evidence that you know last time we sprayed it worked so well." Well, let me let me talk to you about some of this evidence. So, first of all, in Miami. Um, the, the CDC was, CDC came out and said, Hey guys, the pesticides are not as effective as we thought they were going to be. And that it looks like the mosquitoes have built up a resistance to the pesticides. So, um, somebody's already taking a bite out of that one. No, it was me. I took a bite out of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's passing out donuts in here and they've got... That's so yeah, I wouldn't eat after her. No way. Oh my god. So anyway, so Sorry. the so the uh, the pesticides are not working like they're supposed to. The CDC says that they admit that the mosquitoes have built up a resistance. So what happens is mosquitoes adapt really quickly. So the more you spray the pesticides, the more they actually their system, their instincts learn to adapt to that pesticide so it doesn't affect them. So that's actually with all insects. They adapt really quickly, but the mosquito is one of the fastest adapting animals. Yes, sir. Well, couldn't they change the types of pesticides? So they can. So what they do is they put a more toxic pesticide out there. But the problem is, is the pesticides have to, pesticides have to get more and more toxic. And so those same pesticides have shown to increase in, in areas like in California where they've done studies. They've shown that right next to where they're, all the farms are, where they're spraying all the pesticides, there's a higher incidence of autism in the kids. And so there's uh, brain deformities and things like that. So pesticides are not necessarily our friend. Do you remember? You, you're too young to remember, but in I'm the 70s. Young. You are very young. Mm-hmm. She's like 14. Her kids are two and a half each. So anyways, the, um, the <laughs> how many are you holding? <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> okay, so um, I forgot what we were talking about. The pesticides. Yeah, you in can't ca- forget. In, no, in California, you were saying yeah, something so, about. So remember in the 70s. Oh, 70s, You yes. don't remember the 70s, but I remember uh, the 70s. Okay. The, the tobacco companies were in front of Congress telling Congress and the American public on national television, cigarettes don't bother you. There's no health risk to smoking cigarettes. 
I mean, isn't that weird that we actually were just eating it up? Yeah, great. That's great. Look, they wouldn't lie to us, would they? Of course not. Well, so those same guys are now the public relations agencies for the big chemical and big pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. So when they say, oh, it's safe, we've tested it, it's not a problem. Here's another thing that's wrong with pesticides. If it kills mosquitoes, what do you think it also kills? Plants. That's actually a People. very possibility. Yes, but <laughs> what about other insects? Oh, of course. So do you realize, y'all may not know this, do you know where three quarters of our food comes from? Pollinators. You know what a pollinator is? I do. Bee? I was going to say bee. Yeah. What were you saying? I was going to say bees. I knew that one. There we go. Okay, I should have given you a chance. Okay, bees, butterflies. Hummingbirds. Um, Huh? Hummingbirds? Hummingbirds, actually, yes. Yeah. Anything that, that eats from a flower is passing it on to other flowers. And so three quarters of our food supply comes from pollinators. Three quarters of the world's food supply. That's a lot. That's if you kill all those things, where's our food going right, to come exactly. from? Exactly. So <laughs> um, bees alone are one third of the food supply. So, um, so here's the problem if you're killing mosquitoes, you are definitely harming bees. And these guys say there's no evidence of that. Well, there actually is. If you read the labels of the pesticide, it says it's highly toxic to bees. Mm. So if it, they're telling us this is you're going to kill bees if you spray this. The other thing it's toxic to is fish. Most of the pesticides are toxic to fish. In fact, in America, it's illegal to spray pyrethroids over bodies of water. Yet... When they spray out of these airplanes, guess what? What are they going to turn it off when they're flying over exactly. a little lake? No, they're not. So they will be spraying over lakes and bodies of water. So if you've got koi in a pond outside or if you like to go fishing, you know, there's actually, you can go on Forest Lane in between some of these well, yeah, real right nice housing house. developments. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got lakes you can go fish pond. at. So, well, the thing is, is that, um, yeah, those fish uh, could be killed by this. And what happens is the pesticide comes down, it lays a layer of oil over the, uh, of toxic oil over the water, and the fish can't breathe, and they get it in their system. And so the last time they did aerial spraying, there were hundreds of fish that were washed up and killed um, at White Rock Lake. Mm. And uh, there's so pictures of them, and so uh, so that so don't, the, 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 but they're going to tell you that it's okay and it's safe to use. Yes, sir. Well, ha- have they been researching how to stop this? All, like just kill the mosquitoes? There's there's no product out there that will kill just mosquitoes. Now they do have a product. So there's there's two types of pesticides. There's larvicide and adulticide. Okay, so larvicide kills the little larvae that are in the water. So they're little wiggly worms. You've probably seen them before. They're little wiggly worms in the water, and those are actually baby uh, mosquitoes. And then um, and then they get to be an adult. They actually come out of the water, and they start flying. So there are pesticides that are larvicides that are supposed to just affect the mosquito larva. However, they don't really do that. They actually affect all kinds of other. In fact, they affect dragonfly larvae, and dragonfly actually eat mosquitoes. So we want more dragonflies. Dragonflies are good. They look scary, don't they? But dragonflies are really great. You guys, you should catch some dragonflies and check them out. They're really, well, really cool. Holden has a big fear of dragonflies. Do you really? They are the sweetest kind of little animals. They they're won't so hurt cute. anything but mosquitoes. They really don't. They do, but they look menacing. They do look menacing. I understand that, but they're really not. They're... They're friendly as all get out, and we like we like dragonflies. If you see a lot of dragonflies, that probably means there's a lot of mosquitoes around. So uh, because that's what happens in nature is if there's a lot of food, then there will be a lot of predators. I also have one more question. Well, you keep asking. Just well, don't you just don't, don't say any dirty words, and we're okay. Well, don't most mosquitoes usually come out during the summer? They do. So actually, the mosquitoes because they can freeze off, right? Like. Well, okay, yeah. so here's so this is see we're gonna we're, there's so much to learn. There's so much. I know too much about mosquitoes, unfortunately. I could talk about this for days. <laughs> so here's what mosquitoes do. <clears throat> so mosquito the whole lifespan for adult mosquitoes is about two weeks. So that's not very long, really? is it? Yeah. But here's the thing. Mo- mom mosquitoes, female mosquitoes can actually hibernate and survive through a winter. 
And so that's how, you know, the next spring, all of a sudden, we've got mosquitoes again because a lot of the female mosquitoes will hibernate. There's another reason why that is, but uh, but let's, let's stick with this story for a minute. So you've heard about Minnesota and Michigan. Everybody says that the mosquito are so large that that's the state bird. Have you ever? Right. Okay. Well, guess what? They actually are larger and and um, more aggressive. They're they're everything. They're the survival of the fittest. Those mosquitoes have made it through the harshest of winters, and for them to survive, that means that they're bigger and tougher than normal mosquitoes. So, uh, isn't that fascinating? So here's so the thing. so larger mosquitoes are in co- colder climates. Yes. Yes. Okay. So in fact, uh, um, Alaska's mosquito season is not very long. Four to six weeks. Mm-hmm. But they're extremely aggressive, extremely numerous, and I mean they are. You, they'll cover you up real fast up there. So, um, oh. and there's like the salt marsh mosquito over in like Savannah and places like that. There's you can get. I mean, literally like fifteen or twenty of them every minute hitting you in the face. And I mean these are big and aggressive mosquitoes. Not much will work on them except for mosquito Steve. Mosquito Steve products <laughs> do work on the uh, salt marsh mosquitoes. Powell Just like floodwater mosquitoes. As far mosquitoes. as I'm concerned, mosquito Steve products work. They do. They're incredible. Everywhere. And they smell good too, don't they? They do. They smell delightful. It's my new shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. okay. I haven't told you that yet. <laughs> so there's another way that mosquitoes survive through the winter, and this is this. The eighties mosquito and the some of the Culex species, they actually lay their eggs on the side like of a river bank or on the side of a, a tub of water or, you know, anything that holds water, they lay their eggs on the side or up in a gutter. And so when the water rises, so the egg dehydrates. This is fascinating to me. This is what we should be studying. That egg dehydrates. It's actually a dehydrated egg. Do you know what dehydrate is? I mean, it's yeah. dried yeah. out yeah. completely. When the water touches it, my nose is running. So sorry about that. So when, my, when the water touches it, it actually comes to life. So it can actually stay dormant for a year. And then get hit by water and come back to life. This is what we should be studying is how do these things dehydrate and come back to life? That is what we should be studying. We imagine if we had that technology and had the ability to use that and save people's lives. Imagine if somebody was in a car wreck and uh, we just we were able to freeze them real quick, freeze dry them real quick. (laughs) And then uh, bring them back in a couple of years when we had the technology to save their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, wake up. Uh, yeah, I think it's fascinating. So I didn't get to any of this stuff. That See, all this stuff I did, I researched. Um, so here's the other thing, the reason we don't want to spray the pesticides out of the planes. The, the, the data that they're showing that it actually worked is not true. West Nile virus is cyclical. So while our numbers may be high this year, next year they're going to be low. About every three or four years you have a spike in West Nile virus cases. And that's what happened is we had a spike in 2012. The next year we didn't. Our numbers went back to normal. And yet then, you know, the county guys are coming out and going, look at what we did. We saved y'all's lives and all this. And that's absolutely not true at all. So there's very little evidence that the aerial spraying did any good. There's two uh, Dallas City Councilmen that you need to support, Mark Clayton. And um, I'll find the other guy's name here in a minute. Uh, Mark Clayton and Philip Kingston. Okay, those are the guys. Let's uh, give them support and let them know how you feel about the um, aerial spraying. Mark Clayton and Philip Kingston. Okay, all right, we're coming up on a break. Uh, we're going to take y'all call, y'all's calls here in a minute. We're going to focus on Courtney and Spencer and Holden. Oh, goodness. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, but anyways, call in 214 or, or 817 787 1190. Listen to us on iHeartRadio, iHeartMedia, anywhere in the world. All right, we'll be right back. The Mosquito Steve Radio Show is back. Here's your host, Mosquito Steve. Doesn't matter where you are. Wherever you are, you can listen to us on iHeartRadio um, anywhere in the world. So you just download the app and you listen to my show or any of the other shows, Jeff Crilly's show that comes on at 11. Um, so anyways, uh, you know, we... Here on the Mosquito Steve Show, we talk about mosquitoes. There's a lot of talk about mosquitoes, a lot more than most. most but, but, you know, I would not have a radio show if I thought that everybody was going to sit around and listen about mosquitoes for an hour every week. So I wanted to let you all know the news, but 
But we talk about other things. One of them is good business practices and things like that. And I've known Courtney for a while, and I've watched her grow as a person and um, grow these two children out of her yard. And, um, <laughs> and so uh, anyway, she's uh, – um, uh, I've always – I've respect her. She's got a great sense of humor. She's a lot of fun to be around. And so, um, so I wanted to talk to her. First of all, I'm kind of a – I also I like doing design. It's funny because uh, people used to come to my loft and they would see how well I decorated and they'd say, "Are you sure you're not gay?" And uh, yeah, it's not Wait, that there's anything not? wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, I'm not. I'm oh. not. You didn't know that. I didn't I thought, realize. I thought that. we had determined that already. Wow. But, oh, um, I didn't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, of course I don't. <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh, yes. That's yes. Awesome. Okay. So. <laughs> So, He's laughing in there. All right. So we um so you opened up a store. I know you want to talk about this, but I want you no. to tell me why. What? No, so, I can talk talk a little bit. Right, go ahead. Tell shoot, me. Shoot. So you opened up in September of 2014 with your mother mm-hmm. who is named Teddy, Teddy? which I just Teddy think Sue. is hilarious. So mm-hmm. what does that stand for? What's it short It does for? not stand for anything. It doesn't, she it's not is short. named after um my Roosevelt? my grandmother's sisters are uh, it was my aunt Teddy and my aunt Sue, and so my grandmother named her Teddy Sue. I'll be <laughs> it's the okay. best name ever. But that's her middle it name. It is. It <laughs> is. That's incredible. Okay, so is she didn't used to be a guy? No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. No. She's your real mom. She is mom. my real mom. Okay. okay. What do you want to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So mother and daughter duo. Teddy and Courtney oh, Garrigan, yes. and so you opened up the store in 2014. This is on Henderson. It's right next to um, what's the guy's? What's the guy's name? No, or. he he's gone. Um, it's uh, across the street from Vickery Park Bar. Old Monk is down. Right what next what's to the guy's name? Milton. The, Milton. Yeah, where'd he go? Milton Ken. He moved. He moved down to the Design District. Oh wow! He got a really great new place down there. We're real proud of him. And he wants. So what's, in, what's who moved in his space? Uh, it, nobody yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe available. we should open the world headquarters of Mosquito Steve down there. No, right. Yes, I think that would way be way too high dollar for me. Way too high dollar. In fact, it's refreshingly chic from what I understand. <laughs> what are you reading that I'm from? I'm reading that because that's from your website. It says <laughs> you are, are in a refreshingly chic, chic setting in Dallas's popular Henderson, Henderson Avenue shopping district. Well, so what is Coco and Dash? Uh, we are a uh, high-end uh, antiques and home decor uh, shop, and we sell um, a little bit of, of everything. We're a combination of new and old, and um, we've got gifts and all sorts of stuff. And the holidays are coming up. And the holidays, the are, holidays coming up. are coming up. So, yeah. All right. so, yeah, and y'all were editor's choice for best traditional furniture D Magazine 2016. Yeah. Yeah. We excited. Yeah. That is it was so nice. Cool. And then we were a, a uh, reader's choice for uh, best uh, home accessories and gifts. So, Holly darn. Yeah. We got so, two. It was very exciting. The It looks like this would be a designer's paradise when you go in there to me. It looks like that's where maybe designers come, but this is. Normal people can come in there. Absolutely, and we are designers. a retail store, and um, anybody can shop in there. And we uh, we do get a lot of designers that come in as well, though. So, so but you you don't have a degree in design. You don't nope. have, right? And not uh, at all. Neither did your mom. Nope, not at all. Okay, so she's got a degree here? in political science. And um, by the way, Spencer and Holden, woman. they actually they they sew rugs. They actually they keep them in the back and they throw a crust of bread back there and they're <laughs> they're sewing rugs all day long. That's that's what they <laughs> do for a living. Pay. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right for no pay actually it's just room and board that's it they're very helpful when they, are, they are i'm, I'm sorry start. i didn't mean to interrupt no, that's you, okay so so how did this happen because i mean this is why didn't y'all well so um no i have a degree in uh counseling actually and uh, really i didn't know that yes yes you did no you didn't i didn't know that? i probably right. didn't listen yeah we've uh, only known each other 20 years yeah. it's hard yeah so easy short. to miss something like so that short. so um <laughs> anyway um uh, yeah, after um, I guess a couple years, well, three three years ago now, four years ago almost, I guess. Uh, Mom and I were on a trip 
and uh, just a little mother daughter trip. And I was driving, and uh, she this was is a traveling trip, right? This is not y'all weren't on a trip, trip, right? No, we were not tripping. Okay, we were okay. on an okay, actual okay. road trip. I, just to be I have sure. to clarify with okay. you. I forget this. You things. do, yeah. So we <laughs> were um, we were uh, driving along, and she was a little distracted. And I said, "Hey, mom, you know, maybe we should." open a shop and she was like yeah okay that sounds like a good idea and and then kind of the next thing we had a grand opening it was kind of this whirlwind (laughs) uh experience and we immediately started um buying and storing and we stored stuff for about a year what's more fun buying or selling oh (laughs) god do you even have to ask it's obviously (laughs) buying yeah um but uh, but we have a really good time together, and um, there's just nobody else I would have wanted to do the business with, um, and except for Spencer and Holden. I know they both look yeah, so offended yeah. right now. Um, so who's watching the store today? Mom's there today. She is? Yeah. Hi, Teddy. Oh, Hi, I Mom. bet she's not listening. Is she she's listening? probably not listening. That would have been a good idea to turn it on in well, the store. Well, I told her, but I don't know if she's got it on in the shop. She may not. Okay. If you're listening, Teddy, say hi. Yeah, I didn't hear. Oh. <laughs> did you, did you hear her? I, I did. I did. Uh, Help me. Yeah, I'm being robbed. <laughs> you guys, y'all really are. You're a little. You're, you're going to be actors. I can tell. Okay, we're going to come back to talk about that in a little bit. But I want to ask Spencer and Holden a question first. So, um, so Spencer, what's your girlfriend's name? <laughs> what? As he uh, backs away from the mic. Yeah, yeah, he backs away. Yeah. Holden, what's your girlfriend's name? This he you can, guys. This no he can answer. This he can no answer. comment. Oh. oh, how many girlfriends do you have? Sixty-two. Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, just to clarify, that was not Holden saying four. Four. <laughs> to get him in trouble. Four. Four. I have four. Oh, Mimi texting him. Oh, <laughs> Mimi is texting him. She's listening in. So you better say hi, Your Mimi. Mom is doing. Oh, she's listening. Do What'd shout she out. Say, say shout out. Doing great. Okay. Oh, good. Do shout out to Mimi. Shout out yeah. to Mimi. I shall consume in the your microphone. soul. No, let's not. Oh, why? Cause, so that's because she'll appreciate it. Say hi, Mimi. Shout out to Mimi. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Look at that. Hashtag YOLO. God. Yes, that's... Um, okay, so um, other some more questions for you guys. Okay, Spencer, what scientific discoveries have you made? Here um, <laughs> 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 by like, school standards. <laughs> uh, no, what? Where are you going to college? <laughs> uh, yeah, Mobile Holden College? has decided he wants to move as far away as possible, and Why he wants that? to go to Sweden. Let's I go don't to know. Antarctica. Why it's Sweden? Why are of, you looking at me when you say girls? that? I'm because of the blonde so girls. Offended. There's a lot of blonde girls there. Is that why, so Mimi? I no, hope you're he, blonde. He likes brunettes. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> That's because we likes generally Ikea. we like girls that look attached. like our mothers. That's what it is. Really, You're not being attacked. No, I know why. I know We're why. We're just asking questions. Um, so, so Spencer, how do you balance schoolwork and home life and girlfriends and, and stuff, all of that, and your job? <laughs> Homework at the last day. <laughs> I'm one of those kids. Uh, <laughs> you're the, the, Right before it's due, you're, yep. you're sitting there doing it. Do you ever... Act sick because your homework's not ready? No, but sometimes I think about it. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, that was, I always thought you were shooting holding over there and you turned that around on me, didn't I was you? I taking a selfie to send a mom. Wait, okay. why'd you give me So, holding, you're getting up there in age. So, where are you going to go to college? Is it Get Notre Dame? Tonight. Is it oh, Notre Dame? Oh, God, no. He's well, just why wearing, are you wearing the a shirt? Notre Dame shirt if you go, God, no. Can y'all hear him at all? No. No. He no. Closer to the mic. Well, he he doesn't want to. Oh, come on, man. Come on, hold it. We'll make a shy. radio host out of you yet. Shy. Come on. I'm here. Okay, look at there. He's here. Uh, so where you you want to go to college wherever Mimi goes? Is that the deal? Well, how long have you and Mimi been dating? Mimi, Mimi's his my, my grand or my mother. No, oh, that was <laughs> my my mom is Mimi. She was He's texting. He's not dating his grandmother. Uh, I thought that uh, was to clarify. I thought Mimi oh, was the girl that texted you. No, 
No, oh, she's okay. the well, girl that texted me. The one that texted her, but, but it okay. just happens to be his grandmother. That is so wild. She yeah, I'm feeling she my texts text. are gonna start blowing up for her. Okay, <laughs> so that comment. So who's yeah? Okay, so whoever your girlfriend is, um, is Mimi's his grandmother. She's not his other girlfriend. So Moreno. you're the you're the one and only the only one he ever thinks of, and so uh, <laughs> so don't be offended by grandmother Mimi. <laughs> okay, um, I call her Teddy. You can call her Mimi. I call her Teddy. So, oh goodness! Or Mimi. See, she's all, she's about my age. No, she's not. Will you stop? She with that? is. I'm about your mother's age. No, I you're am. Not. You're uh, a little bit older than me. I can't see anything. I'm a lot it. older than you. Well, that's true. I am very young. <laughs> you. Are. That's right. Oh no. Okay, she's so way older. she's way older. Okay, so uh, Holden, Holden, here. It's a real simple question. What's your favorite video game? Rocket League. Rocket Lady? No, what? No. <laughs> Speak clearly. Rocket League. Rocket okay. League. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Never heard of that. Explain it. It's like soccer with cars, pretty much. Really? Yeah. Like you Cars can... hit balls around? and Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Why are you laughing at that? Yes, yeah, <laughs> because you're not good at it. Come on. Come on now. Come I on, know. Spencer. <laughs> Come on, what's your favorite video game? Overwatch. What is that? Is that a war F- kill people game? Yes. Is it? Okay. I could do that. I like that. I'm not in the I'm not, soccer I'm, stuff. But I'm not I'm not in the Call of Duty side. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna come back because I want to hear more about your video games and please you people call in. Teddy, call in. We want to talk to you about Mimi. So <laughs> um oh and Holden and Spencer's girlfriend, if you want to call in, the phone number is two one four Seven eight seven eleven ninety or eight one seven seven eight seven eleven ninety. Um, you guys come back to listen to us here in a minute. We're going to pause here for a couple of commercials, and we'll be right back. The Mosquito Steve Radio Show is back. Here's your host, Mosquito Steve. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the show, and welcome back to my guest today. What? Was Wait, that? I have a question. Wait, well, you can't just add, you can't start out at the gate. Oh, the sorry. Go ahead. Like do that. your spiel. Okay, so welcome back. To- <laughs> it's all messed up now. Never mind. I'm not going to do it. it. I just want to know, do you it. get to pick your own opening music? Like when we yes. come back, you choose yes. all that? That yes. does not surprise me death at metal. all. Yeah, okay. it does. Yeah, that there's no Gino Vanelli though. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's an inside joke that just two people understand. I thought that the whole radio audience might want to hear that. So, um, all right. So I'm back here with Courtney and Spencer and Holden. And um, I have to ask you guys out of the two of y'all, which one's smarter? Me. Oh, really? Uh huh. Sure. All right. Boy. Bite that's me. Not, that's They're not what both say. Okay. brilliant all right, all right, and wait, make fabulous wait. Well, grades. This is this will be easier. Which one of y'all does your mother like better? Me. Oh, Holden's not even arguing with that. <laughs> oh my gosh! I I tell oh, them no, each no, that no, they're no. I really favorite. don't like him. him. Holden more, loves so. her. Holden totally loves her. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Courtney, I know you're a, a soccer player from way back. <laughs> No, no. no. You guys play, y'all play soccer though, don't you? Don't you? You don't don't do any sports? Spencer did. Spencer did. Holden's the baseball player. Oh, okay. Wow. Spencer is the golfer. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, my God, dude. That is so cool. When you become rich and famous, you got to, yeah. Be my buddy, okay? You gotta, you gotta be, let me. You gotta sponsor, endorse. There you go, endorse Mosquito Steve when you become rich and famous. Yeah, you he just can wear have, a cap, a Mosquito Steve. Yeah, cap. absolutely. There you go. Wait, wait, you have Mosquito Steve caps? I do. <laughs> I want one. Okay, <laughs> all right. Consider it done. So, Holden, so you're a baseball player. You're actually playing now. You're on a team. No, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Well, it's fall the ball season. The, yeah, but um. But uh, he plays in the spring. Who's your favorite uh, professional baseball team? The Rangers, I guess. They are? Well, good. Yeah. Uh, you look, you know, it surprises me. I see kids all the time now with these Cardinals outfits on. They like the Cardinals or the Yankees or something. Give me a break. Actually, Colin <coughs> wears a Chicago Cubs cap like every day. Boo. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, well, wait, where did that come from? Who said What's boo? wrong with the it's, Cubs? It's the voice like in the them. sky. Let me tell you something. <laughs> it's God. I, I got to tell you, I went, on a, I went on a tour one summer, went to, uh, the, went to Wrigley Stadium. Yeah, I was in Wrigley. Went yeah. to, um, uh, God, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but went to Yankee Stadium before they tore it down, the old one, mm-hmm. and went to Fenway. Wrigley Field is amazing. That is a oh, great awesome. place well, to go. Well, That's where I got the hat. The only okay. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, the I only got one problem too. That's about cool. Wrigley Stadium is that 
the chairs are way too flat. So if, if someone's taller than you, you can't really see. <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, I didn't have that problem. I had really, really good seats. Sh- and I was really surprised because all these Chicago people were really treating me well and telling me all about the history and stuff. And even though I had my Rangers outfit on, not my Rangers outfit, you know, <laughs> I had these little holsters and, <laughs> and a vest and a badge and, yeah, and a cowboy hat and, and boots. That's the I way I go to all line. baseball games that way. <laughs> Teddy's on the line if y'all want to talk to her. Oh, Teddy's on really? the line. Awesome. Okay. This is the world famous Teddy from the Coco and Dash store. Um, hi, Teddy. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm doing good. How hey, are Mom. you? Hi. Is that Courtney? I couldn't tell who yeah. that was. Yes, oh, it is your that's daughter. Right. It's the only one. That's my that daughter. You're and the then my of. grandson, of course, who I've been dating for 14 yeah. years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I hate to tell you, but. <laughs> We're originally from Kentucky. I don't think. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. I thought it was Arkansas that was supposed to be that way. But I, hey, well, they're related too. Well, do, or do you know there's another woman? Do you know there's a some woman named Mimi in his life too? Yes, I know. Well, <laughs> you know he gets uh, around. He does. I bet both of them do. They both they're handsome young men. I bet both of them get around. Aren't they? They're spectacular young men. I had I had a lot of girlfriends when I was their She's age. So I bet uh, yeah. I bet totally. they totally. Yeah, just don't. That was a long time ago. Now don't you don't want to don't see this is what happens if you get old and let yourself go. You look like this and you don't have any girlfriends. So don't you don't want to go there. You just don't want to go there. Just keep doing what you're doing. Teddy, are y'all busy today? We have been busy. Awesome. What are you selling the most of today? We are well. Art is popular today. Oh yeah, no. So, so this yeah. this guy Kurt, uh, Scott and Justin Scott Kerr. Kerr, Scott, yes. Kerr. Scott, Scott Kerr, Scott Kerr, Scott Kerr. Okay. Yeah. And, so uh, yeah, he's always popular, and we just got some beautiful paintings of his. So those have been uh, caused a bit of attention today, and I'm pleased with that. Awesome. Okay, so what what do you recommend for people for Christmas? Christmas is coming around the corner here, so. Well, I think anything from Mosquito Steve would be wonderful. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Endorsements. Oh my, my maid have sent you some oh. bottles to give to your mom, too. She's so. good. <laughs> I'll take some. So y'all have had some famous people in your store. I saw that there's a picture of you and Erica Badu on there, on your yeah. Facebook page. I know. I know. She that was, was lovely. Fun. She came in last week. Was that? No, earlier. Monday. She was there on Monday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was really a lovely person and and uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a. She was in the shop for about thirty minutes, and we had a lot of fun. Well, I've been in the shop. Yep, he's come <laughs> well, to see me. Yeah, and I'm not as famous as Erica Badu, but someday, someday, someday. well, someday. yeah, I, gosh, you are. <laughs> so, what other? Tell me any other. You had any other celebrities in there? Because that is a popular area when yeah, people come to we, town. They go yeah, to the restaurants. We get, and, we've had some of the. Uh, one of the actors from uh, Modern Family, although I didn't speak to him because he was kind of looking around, and I thought, you know, I'm going to leave not him alone. Not Cam. Was it Cam? No, no I, not I Cam. I would have oh. spoken to Cam. He's I, my I favorite. Have, me yeah. too. I love him. Uh, well, oh. It was Cam's husband. husband. Oh, yeah. He doesn't look like he'd be as fun. Wait, I think he's shy. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That's what all actors are, is shy. I think, right. yeah. you know, deeply disturbed <laughs> people who are very shy. Okay, so which one of these boys is your favorite? Well, you know, I do have my favorites. Oh, Mimi. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Spencer's, Spencer's crossing got his, his fingers, fingers crossed, yeah. yeah. yeah they're, but they, they make fun of me because I tell all of my grandchildren that they're my favorite. Don't, don't worry, I do that to mom too. <laughs> I know you do. I think Spencer is going to, he's got a career in radio if he wants it. Yes, Spencer has a, a career in entertainment, probably, if he would like to do that. And see, Holden. But he's also tremendously intelligent and loves to research. So. Oh, I know. He's been, uh, this, he's, I love that he's interested in this mosquito talk. So Absolutely. I'm going to have him. You come back anytime you want, Spencer. You can be my co-host on the show. So I've been looking for you. Ask good questions. Have a co-host? Huh? Do you already have a co-host? No, I don't, actually. No, I've had two of them quit on me. Um, one, of, <laughs> one of them wanted to get paid $500 a week. I'm like going, oh, my God, I would like to get paid $5 a week if I could. Oh. So, uh, no, I don't. Have, nobody gets paid on this show. Nobody. Nobody. Holden's giving me dirty looks right now because he knows I'm fixing to ask him a question. So, um so what do you like best about Holden? <laughs> well, I, you know, the, the show probably isn't long enough for me to tell you what there I love about my See? grandson. 
<laughs> well, Holden, I think Holden is going to be one of those quiet baseball players that's just going to – he's just going to rake the money in and you know, he's going to have yeah, his family. Still, still waters run deep. Still waters run deep. Still waters run deep. Yeah, he's he's a really deep thinker and big heart and tremendously funny. Really? He's he really funny? is. He's very funny. He just doesn't very like dry to be. He's just humor. Shy. Yeah, he just doesn't like to be in the spotlight. Hold on quickly. Say a joke. It's much yeah. like a million people <laughs> on this radio channel. Well, I tell channel. you, so these guys used to know who I was. It's funny. I hadn't seen him, what, three I, years? Three years? Probably. So I walk in and I go, what, we've met you before? What are you talking about? <laughs> that was me. That was me. I used that was to me. bring him cookies all the time and stuff. Cookie Steve. And that was the deal. I was, I was Cookie Steve. That's the thing. I'm Cookie Steve. <laughs> I've been Peaches Steve. I was now Mosquito Steve. And... Yeah, they're Tell all. Tell me more about peaches, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that was in college. Isn't it? You don't want to hear about that. What's next, creature, Steve? <laughs> creature, Steve? No, creature. creature. Oh, you know what? It's, There's no way that's going to happen. I don't know about that. The light of mosquitoes will see the day. I don't know about that. I've been, you know, I got some stuff working, so we got time. I don't. You don't worry about the time. I'll worry oh, about I'm the sorry. time. I'm sorry. She's pointing at the clock. Like, oh my God, we don't want. All right, Teddy. You know what? We're gonna let you go because we're gonna we're gonna um, wind up with these kids here, and um, and I mean I'm talking about Courtney too. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna wind up with them. But thank you for calling in. And uh, hey, everybody, go to Coco and Dash on Henderson today. And oh, um, good to talk to y'all and have thanks, a Mom. Fun day. Okay, love Bye. y'all. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. All right. So what is what's your you got a website? Of course yes. you do. Coco and Dash dot com. Coco and Dash C O C O. And dash A-N-D-D-A-S-H. Dot com. Dot and you've got a Facebook Thanks page? Spelling lesson. Fa- uh, Facebook and Instagram. and Instagram? Uh, we, oh, yes. Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. Instagram. And we try and post uh, every day, sometimes more than once a day. And we always post when we get new things in the shop. And um, that's all I know. That's all you know. That's all she I know. She knows a lot more. She really does. Uh, trust me. So, um... Okay, well, uh, so you guys go shop at Coco and Dash. Here's the thing on West Nile. Get a hold of uh, uh, Mark Clayton and um, whoever the other guy can't remember. Philip Kingston. Kingston. Well, Mark Clayton is my guy in my neighborhood. So get a hold of those guys. Let them know that you don't want the aero spraying for mosquitoes. Uh, We don't want to kill mosquitoes because if you kill mosquitoes, you're killing ladybugs, butterflies, and bees. We can repel them using products like Mosquito Steve. And do a better job than you can if you're killing them anyways. See, that's the thing is I'm not saying let's just, you know, all hang out with mosquitoes. I'm saying let's use more responsible methods for getting rid of them. So if you have a question for me, Steve at MosquitoSteve.com. Steve at MosquitoSteve.com. Go to my website, MosquitoSteve.com. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or would like to get somebody out there to talk to you about our services. And uh, the rest of the month, we got a lot of recovery talk. We got um, recovery people coming on next week, the next and the next. And uh, Gary Kaufman's going to be back with us. He's going to, he promises to be funny this week. And uh, we're going to give him fabulous. One, we're going to give him one last chance. So, anyways, thank y'all for listening in. Tune in next week. And um, don't forget to call him Mosquito Steve if you need help. Thanks, Steve. Mm-hmm.